All I can tell you, Mr. Beale, is that if you made a complaint, it would have been investigated. Well, how come you didn't contact me? It probably wasn't considered necessary. I'm sorry, but any information we have must be confidential, otherwise no one would trust us. Yeah, but can't you just tell us what would normally happen in a case like this? Any complaint we receive from whatever source would be investigated immediately, quite possibly with the police. If it seemed to be a case of non-accidental injury, the first thing we would do then is to try and see the family. Non-accidental injury? Have you seen the state of his back? I'm sorry, I can't discuss that. All right, look, look, carry on like you were. What would usually happen? Well, it varies. If we were allowed access and the parents were cooperative, so we could protect the child within the family, then no legal procedures would be necessary. If we were prevented, we would apply to the court. Either way, our first objective would be to assess whether the risk had disappeared or not. So what's all that mean? Well, whether the father has left home or whether there's any likelihood of further injury. If there was, we could apply for a place of safety order. So what you're saying is, love, that you can be taken away from his family? If that were necessary to protect the child, then yes. Ideally, we would try to work towards restoring the child to the family. But that's by no means a certainty. So Jason can be put into a home? Possibly, yes, although we would prefer to find a foster family. Right. I'm sorry, I've got to go. I'm afraid you're going to have to leave us to get on with it, Mr and Mrs Beale. Is there any chance of me getting a message to him? No, I don't think so. Look, love, that boy worked on my store for weeks and weeks. Well, then go back home. Just tell him there'll always be a place for him. I'll keep it open. Oh, I think we'd better go, Pete. Thanks for your time. You're welcome. Still don't know anything. You've got no standing ever. You've got to accept that. You? What are you doing here? Come to tell some of your little tales, have you? If it weren't for you, I wouldn't be here, would I, you interfering git? You know they've taken him away, don't you? Thanks to you, you've broken up me family. I had the boy's interest at heart. He was being knocked about. You can't prove that. We love that boy. I'm his mum. We're the ones who brought him up, clothed him, fed him. Then you come along. What's it got to do with you? That's what I'd like to know. Who gave you the right to interfere in our lives, eh? Come on, Mrs Warren. This won't get us anywhere. Well, go on and tell him. I think it'd be better if you left. Come on, Mrs Warren. All right. But I ain't talked to you while he's around. You're the one who needs investigating. It's not natural. Dirty old man, that's what you are. Well, I hope you're satisfied, pervert. Splitting up the family, Kath. Taking him away. Then why'd you make the call? Keep asking that myself. You made it because you had Jason's interests at heart. If you found a good reason, Pete, you've got nothing to reproach yourself for. Oh, yeah. I probably deserve a medal. But there might have been other calls. Kath, they're putting him in home. Down to me. Look, it's not your fault. His father put him there. Oh, Kathleen. All right. Well, you feel guilty if you want. But you ask yourself this. What if you hadn't made that call? What if something really bad had happened? How much worse would you have felt then? 